Welcome to Dang Dang Ka Channel. Category Celebrity Biography. Lazy Chinese Daoist Philosopher by Britannica.com. Lazy, Chinese. Master Lao, or Old Master. Original name, Wade Giles. Lear, deified as Lao Jun, Tai Shang Lao Jun, or Tai Shang Zhuan Yuan Huang Dai, also called Lao Dun, or Lao Dan, flourished 6th century B's, China the first philosopher of Chinese Daoism and alleged author of the Dao De Jing, a primary Daoist writing. Modern scholars discount the possibility that the Dao De Jing was written by only one person but readily acknowledge the influence of Daoism on the development of Buddhism. Lazy is venerated as a philosopher by Confucians and as a saint or god in popular religion and was worshipped as an imperial ancestor during the Tang Dynasty. 618 to 907. See also Daoism. The life of Lazy. Despite his historical importance, Lazy remains an obscure figure. The principal source of information about his life is a biography in the Shiji, Records of the Historian, by Sima Kiya. This historian, who wrote in about 100 BCE, had little solid information concerning the philosopher. He says that Lazy was a native of Kuren, a village in the district of Ho in the state of Chu which corresponds to the modern Luai in the eastern part of Henan province. His family name was Li, his proper name Er, his appellation Dan. He was appointed to the office of Shi at the royal court of the Zhu dynasty, c. 1046-256 BCE. Shi today means historian, but in ancient China the Shi were scholars specializing in matters such as astrology and divination and were in charge of sacred books. After noting the civil status of Lazy, the historian proceeds to relate a celebrated but questionable meeting of the old Daoist with the younger Confucius, 551-479 BCE. The story has been much discussed by the scholars, it is mentioned elsewhere, but the sources are so inconsistent and contradictory that the meeting seems a mere legend. During the supposed interview, Lazy blamed Confucius for his pride and ambition, and Confucius was so impressed with Lazy that he compared him to a dragon that rises to the sky, riding on the winds and clouds. No less legendary is a voyage of Lazy to the west. Realizing that the Zhou dynasty was on the decline, the philosopher departed and came to the Xiangu Pass, which was the entrance to the state of Qin. Yingxi, the legendary guardian of the pass, Guanli, begged him to write a book for him. Thereupon, Lazy wrote a book in two sections of 5,000 characters, in which he set down his ideas about the Tao, literally Wei, and the Da, its virtue, the Dea De Jing. Then he left, and nobody knows what has become of him, says Sima Qian. After the account of the journey of Lazy and of the redaction of the book, Sima Qian alludes to other persons with whom Lazy was sometimes identified. One was Lao Lazy a Daoist contemporary of Confucius, another was a great astrologer named Dan. Sima Qian adds, maybe Lazy has lived 150 years, some say more than 200 years. Since the ancient Chinese believed that superior men could live very long, it is natural that the Daoists credited their master with an uncommon longevity, but this is perhaps a rather late tradition because Zhu Angtsai, the Daoist sage of the 4th century B's, still speaks of the death of Lazy without emphasizing an unusual longevity. To explain why the life of Lazy is so shrouded in obscurity, Sima Qian says that he was a gentleman recluse whose doctrine consisted in non-action, the cultivation of a state of inner calm, and purity of mind. Indeed, throughout the whole history of China, there have always been recluses who shunned worldly life. The author, or authors, of the Dea De Jing was probably a person of this kind who left no trace of his life. The question of whether there was a historical lazy has been raised by many scholars, but it is rather an idle one. The Dea De Jing, as we have it, cannot be the work of a single law author. Some of its sayings may date from the time of Confucius, others are certainly later and a version of the text has been recovered in an archaeological find at Guodian that dates to before 300 BCE. Owing to these facts, some scholars have assigned the authorship of the De Dejing to the astrologer Dan, while others, giving credit to a genealogy of the descendants of the philosopher, which is related in the biography by Sima Qian, try to place the life of Lao Dan at the end of the 4th century B's. But this genealogy can hardly be considered as historical. It proves only that at the time of Sima Qian a certain Li family, see above, 
pretended to be descended from the Daoist sage, it does not give a basis for ascertaining the existence of the latter. The name Lazy seems to represent a certain type of sage rather than an individual. Hagiographical Legends Beyond the biography in the Shiji and sporadic mentions in other old books, several hagiographies were written from the 2nd century onward. These are interesting for the history of the formation of religious Daoism. During the Eastern, or later, Han Dynasty, 25-220 CE, Lazy had already become a mythical figure who was worshipped by the people and occasionally by an emperor. Later, in religious circles, he became the Lord Lao, Lao Jun, revealer of sacred texts and savior of mankind. There were several stories about his birth, one of which was influenced by the legend of the miraculous birth of Buddha. Lazy's mother is said to have borne him 72 years in her womb and he to have entered the world through her left flank. One legend gives an explanation of his family name, Li. The baby came to light at the foot of a plum tree, Li, and decided that Li, plum, should be his surname. Two legends were particularly important in the creed of the Daoists. According to the first, the Lao Jun was believed to have adopted different personalities throughout history and to have come down to the earth several times to instruct the rulers in the Daoist doctrine. The second legend developed from the story of Lazy's journey to the west. In this account the Buddha was thought to be none other than Lazy himself. During the 3rd century an apocryphal book was fabricated on this theme with a view to combating Buddhist propaganda. This book, The Lazy Huaijin, Lazy's Conversion of the Barbarians, in which Buddhism was presented as an inferior kind of Daoism, was often condemned by the Chinese imperial authorities. Lazy has never ceased to be generally respected in all circles in China. To the Confucians he was a venerated philosopher, to the people he was a saint or a god, and to the Daoists he was an emanation of the Tao and one of their greatest divinities.